This is episode Why Your Identity and season six preview. This is A is for Adversity, a podcast about navigating the obstacles in life. Thanks for joining us this season as we talk about how a community can help. I'm Jen. And I'm Rachel. We're here to be a part of your community this year as we learn together. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Yesterday was Halloween and this episode definitely creeped up on me. (laughs) I am publishing it just in time. I'm excited to talk with you today a little bit about identity and next season's preview. It's been so fun to narrow my niche and to just really hone in and focus on this topic of identity, and I'm excited to hear more about the identity of the people around me and what makes people unique. After next week's episode, I will be taking a break for the holidays, and season six will come out the first week of January, so stay tuned. I'm so excited to share with you some lovely guests and to again, continue to build on this concept of identity. Kind of fun. I'm going to continue to name each episode using the letters of the alphabet, but each episode title will be the name of the guest who's on the show. Kind of tricky, but I'm up for the challenge. I'm also going to structure each episode using the following two-part format. First, for the guest, is who they are, and second is what they do, how they contribute to society or have a place in society, but also just keeping that distinction between who we are and what we do. Because of the way the season is set up, you probably won't hear from me for a while, so I will go ahead and tell you who I am and what I do, even though you've heard plenty of that in the past. First, I'll start with my core values, and I have narrowed them down to four, I talked about priorities in a previous episode, but I've really spent a lot of time nailing down my core values. And there are lists of values online that you can look up. There's a fabulous one by Brene Brown, and you can go through them and figure out which ones resonate for you. And you can start by choosing three to five. And these are just values that govern your life. They're not moral values that you teach and live by, but they're more just things that govern your choices and things you've grown up with and just the very base of your personality. So my four and the reason I chose four was because two of them start with the letter C and two of them start with the letter R and I just left it at that because I didn't want to ruin the pattern. The first one is connection, and this comes from my appreciation of belonging and relationships and love and kindness. Next is contribution, and originally I had service here, but I realized it's more than that. It's making a difference. It's adding something into the world that wasn't there before, contributing to society. Next is reliability, and this comes from my tenacity and determination, especially when reaching goals. But I've also found that I judge people based on their different value when it comes to reliability. And so it's been helpful to resist judgment and just noticing that people have different values than I do, and that's totally fine. We're all different people. And then my fourth one is refinement, and this encompasses self-improvement, efficiency, bettering myself, working on becoming a better human being. It's also been interesting to consider what my husband's values might be, and I've talked with him about this a little bit, and we kind of came up with the following for him. Solitude, thrift, knowledge, And he wanted to say music, but values are more about our feelings than an activity. And so I encouraged him to think of a different word. And so, so far we've come up with the word substance and meaning. But it's so interesting to see how our values compare or compete and just, again, how people see the world differently. 
We all wear different hats in life, and I have often measured my worth based on the things that I do and accomplish, and I'm trying to flip that and teach myself that I have inherent worth and that even just the essence of who I am is what I bring to the world. So that's just a little bit about who I am. You're pretty familiar with what I do. I am a podcaster and I really enjoy connecting people, whether it's through a gathering or finding people who need help and others who can offer help or coming together for an event or an experience. I really love, as you know, community and connection. So really just whatever is at the root of that and... They say that if you find something that you enjoy, you won't work a day in your life. And that's how I feel with doing this podcast. And I so appreciate you for supporting me and listening to me. And I am so, so, so very excited for next season.